Hello and welcome back to Digging for Drez. This time around, we've got another mission to the moon. Although, it's not landing this time. And as you can see, we're using the Saturn 1B launch vehicle once again. With this mission, we're hoping to kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. We've got a contract to put a probe into orbit around the moon, but we've also got our own goals. We want to scan the moon for resources because we have the equipment to do that now, and it just so happened that we have a contract to get into the same position that we need. So why not take the opportunity to not only get money, but also further our exploration of the universe, or whatever. Now we're coming up a bit shallow, going over a bit fast. Probably could have used a few more struts on this. But you may have noticed in the last couple of episodes, I have slightly redone the Saturn 1B. I've added in some more gimbaled engines to improve control. And also efficiency. So I'll probably put this up on Dropbox as a... Uh, Saturn 1B version 2, or something like that. And... Miko in one second. Miko. Going on to stage 2 now. So once we ditch the fairing, we'll get a good look at the uh, probe under here. I don't think I put parachutes on that stage. Oh well. All right, 50 kilometers, ditch fairing, away we go. So this is our probe. I could have put it on a uh, one meter launcher but I wanted it to fit nicely in the fairing because this antenna here, this scanner is just a bit too big to fit nicely in a one meter fairing there we are, 128 kilometers plenty of delta V in this honestly th this could go to Eve or Duna or something very easily Deploy solar panels, and once again I forgot music. Turn that up a bit. There we go. So now, circularization, all the standard good stuff. Oh, that's new. The, um... The, uh, status of the, uh, solar panels used to only show blocked by vessel or blocked by... Uh, basically blocked by the name of the vessel or blocked by the name of the planet. Now it actually says blocked by the specific part. That's nice. Anyway... Coming up to circularization. And I've said it before, but this Saturn 1B launcher 
is so versatile. For large payloads, it's got enough to get to low carbon orbit, and for smaller ones like this, it's got plenty to give it a kick to wherever it needs to go. I honestly could have used this to launch the dual probe. There's the moon. And this clutter of spacecraft. Although nowhere near as cluttered as around Earth. Not by a long shot. Wow. Holy hell. These are a couple of rescue missions I've got planned. I didn't realize they could get stuck in high orbit. Hmm. This update never ceases to amaze. Now we want to get into a polar orbit. So that's the wrong thing to do. What I should be doing is planning a plane change halfway along the trajectory to the moon. So we get to about there. Add a maneuver here. There we are. Now we focus view on the moon. Now we can use this to tweak our encounter. So we want to bring it in close-ish. So if we can bring out periaps in like that, then we should be able to tweak very easily now, encounter with this orbit, although, now that I'm looking at it, it's going the wrong way. That's better. Come around the r correct side. Very nice. So now, hit backspace to focus back on our spacecraft. And although I've got plenty of Delta V left in this second stage, I'm going to leave it here in this orbit here. So there we are. Because I don't want to drag that all the way to the moon. Forty-three seconds, so about twenty-two seconds. We'll split that by. And there we are. Rather nice silhouette there. And this is similar. This whole mission to what a lot of. Um, rockets like um, the Ariane 5 and Falcon 9 do quite routinely is one launch, two missions. Although most often they use two different spacecraft for that. Instead of just one that's got dual purpose. But the point being, the more you can Yeah, uh, what am I trying to say here? It's more efficient to l launch two spacecraft on the one rocket than it is to use two rockets, obviously. And that's one of the reasons why the Apollo program specifically designed the uh, rockets and spacecraft to be able to be launched in one go rather than say launching the transfer stage in the lander 
on one rocket and then flying up the command module on another because flying up two rocks like that is a lot more expensive there we are so how are we doing? we're doing very nicely our, our inclination node will be very close to our periaps make it very easy to tweak our encounter Coming up to encounter. And there we are. So, because we're on a hyperbolic orbit right now, it doesn't actually give us descending nodes or anything. So, to make this easier, we'll just go focus view. Go away, navable. that down right, so we're a bit out of the plane so there we go that should be good how much Delta V 276 easy Coming in. Don't want to miss this. I probably should be using Kerbal Alarm Clock a whole lot more. But, I might choose not to. I know it's a very stupid decision, but. Hey, I'm a stupid guy. Okay. And burn. Oops. How close are we? Yeah, we should be close enough. Uh, no, we're not close enough. No matter. Well, we're 0 0.8 degrees out. Yep, we're close enough now. And there we go. So that's the contracted part of the mission done. Now we need to point at the surface, just because I think that's required, and deploy scanner. Now transmit survey data. Survey incomplete. Okay, that's right. I've got a mod that requires the survey to be done over one orbit. So similar to the way the Keythane mod worked, this mod just adds a, uh, another parameter or a constraint to this scanner that requires it to be in orbit around a body for at least one orbit. So we see here it's coming up to 100%. Survey complete. And from this far out, that's very likely to be able to scan the entire surface in just one orbit. So, transmit survey data. It's chewing through the electric charge. 95, 100%. Scan complete. Whoa! Yes, it does overlay. 
Okay, let's bring the cutoff down. I want the cutoff up so that. Right. So, 80%. 2.22% average, or let's see how it looks in the map view. Ooh, there's a nice bright spot right here near the equator. So basically, this will now allow us to plan the location of a mining base to test our drills and other equipment before we head them out to Drez. Which would be good because we'd hate to get to Drez with a really expensive probe like that and then find out we have no clue how to operate the stuff. So once we unlock this, the uh, drills and things in R&D, we'll bring them here and give them a trial run. Well, that's that. We've still got 15 minutes left for this recording. Let's head back to the Space Center and see what we can do. So we've got 58 science from that contract. We've got a uh, Duna window in 60 days. Dual probe has a maneuver in 100. Is there any particular parts that we want to buy at this point? At this point, we can't buy anything, but we can work towards it. I think advanced landing will be a good goal to shoot for. Let's see, what contracts do I have? Well, I've got a few Minmus ones, but we don't have quite enough time for that. I could do a rescue mission. Or a tourist mission. We'll do a rescue mission, I think. So... I think we'll have to use the uh, three-man rescue ship for this, because I don't think Tourist Trap can get up that high. Let's see, three-man rescue. So yep, still got full fuel in there, that's good. We've seen this ship once before. And that time that we did see it, it was able to uh, complete its mission only on the stage two tank here. So who are we taking? Bill and Bob, no, we don't need you. Oh yeah, uh -huh. I found a Kerbal with my name. We'll bring him along just because he could do with a bit more experience. And Samantha. Now this is using the old Saturn 1 launch stage, so could be a bit interesting. Okay, SAS, full throttle. I don't have a uh, engineering module on this. Oh well. Let's see, who are we going to rescue? Catrice. Catrice, or whatever her name is. Set that as target. Sam and Luke. Three, two, one, launch! Okay, not nearly as squirrely as I expected. And as we come into time acceleration, I point out the marker beacon I placed to make landing space planes easier. And also start talking about how I'm thinking about adding in distant object enhancement to this series. And that brings up a point that I wanted to make. If you guys want to uh, see a post of what mods I've got, just let me know in the comments and I'll put something up on DeviantArt. Stage set. And as we're going up, take note of our lower trajectory. 
This uh, may or may not have contributed to the outcome of this mission. But as we accelerate towards orbit, we're going to skip forward until we have planned our encounter with our target. I've never really tried to hit a target in such a weird orbit before. Unless you count once when I captured an asteroid. That was almost a year ago. I haven't had much to do with that since. Okay, coming up on the burn. We've really got a sliver of fuel left in this tank, but should be enough. Or maybe not. Nope, now we're near enough. Okay, we're onto the spacecraft itself. And I'm going to go stage lock. Because the last thing I want is this thing coming apart. Okay, we're going off RCS now. Well, Luke seems to be enjoying himself. And cut. Bring back our CS. Let's see how close can we get. Oop, back it up a bit. 56. Let's see what we can do with this descending node. Wow, we are going to be screaming in from such different orbits. Yeah, I'll take that. Now what's... We've got four days of life support in here with two crew. Okay, wow. Yeah, come in here like a bullet. Let's see, target. I want target retrograde. Oh boy. Am I going to have enough fuel? Okay. Don't know how far out we are. Okay, we're 35 kilometers out. Let's start burning now. Circularize that orbit. Or at least match that orbit. Wow, fuel's getting low. We might have to abort this. I don't have enough fuel. I'm gonna have to abort. No! Well, that was ill planned, wasn't it? I should have run the numbers first. Sorry, cat. Oh, shit. She's only got another two hours. We have to get her. Yeah, 
And she's in a lab. Where is she? Alright. Use RCS as well. Cut down on that target relative velocity. Uh, the very worst, I can get out and push this thing at Apple Apps. And that's it, we're out of fuel. And she's gone. She's gonna die. Yet another Kerbal lost due to my negligence. And at this point, Cat is considered lost. So I focus my efforts on saving Sam and Luke. But as we can see, the orbits are pretty much matched. So it doesn't look good for them, unfortunately. Alright. Point retrograde. Oh yeah, stage lock. Ditch that. Luke, out you get. Use that EVA pack of yours. Sam will hold it steady while you push. Use up most of your pack and then get back in and refill it. I don't know how I thought I'd be able to do that with the rocket that I had. Alright, that's enough. Grab, board, how'd we do? Barely a thing. I'm gonna lose these two. Oh boy, I'm gonna keep trying with this and hopefully get them back. We'll see you in the next episode. But until then, see you later.